All right. So I was jogging the other day and I found a dirty old pair of boxer briefs, some scratch tickets, a little mini broken bottle of fireball liquor and a hypodermic needle, which is obviously disturbing and gross. But I'm thrilled that my ex has taken up jogging. <laughs> <laughs> so ladies, contrary to popular belief, there's actually an upside to dating a drug addict. It makes you a very simple, patient, non-materialistic person because they steal all of your shit and they sell it. So we'll just get down. To, we'll just get down to brass tacks here. The first and only time that I was ever choked during sex, it is going to go there. I wasn't scared. I wasn't nervous. I was actually super excited about it because the sex was so bad. I was hoping you would just kill me. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, if you, so if you couldn't tell by that one, I'm the small margin of the population that doesn't respond well to Zoloft. Um, <laughs> he said, why is it such a challenge for you to orgasm? Why is it so hard for you? And I had to explain to him that antidepressants, SSRIs, cause you to have a dip in your libido. But I also had to explain to him, I have to keep taking them to keep dating you. So, uh -huh. <laughs> so pick your poison with that one, right? Um, mm -hmm. I do struggle with severe depression. So to help me get up in the morning and get the day going, I like to set small personal goals for myself just to prove that despite the odds, I can still achieve anything I set my mind to and still be depressed. So. <laughs> I am sober comic recently celebrated over six years of sobriety, which is a big milestone for me. Ooh, Thank you. Very good, very good. There's, there's a lot of things I miss about drinking. One of the main things is that nice, loose, warm, initial buzz feeling you get, you know, like right before you ruin your life. Uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. In all honesty, I chose the path to sobriety because I feel like there's nothing worse than a sloppy, angry, inebriated, drunk person in your face trying to start an argument with you. It's like, lay off, mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. My parents are great. They've been married over 35 years, and I attribute that to the fact that they complement each other well because my mom drinks during the day and my dad drinks at night. <laughs> um, yeah so if there's ever an emergency they're both covered right? <laughs> they, they say marriage is all about teamwork right so, <laughs> i highly recommend when you're older for personal reasons financial reasons to move back in with your parents for a while because it'll give you a newfound respect and better understanding of elder abuse <laughs> so, my, my mom's getting older and she uh, keeps saying I don't want to get old and really sick if I get to that point do me a favor put me out of my misery and just push me down the stairs so you see where I get my depression from um, yeah and I just say to her you know mom look I love you so much and we don't have to wait <laughs> so, yeah, I watch my nephew a lot he's so cute he's almost three and he does this funny thing where he likes to go poop under his toy basketball hoop in his playroom and I have to say Colin dude you can't do that that's my spot <laughs> um, which would be which would be a great way to segue into the fact that I am single I am <laughs> I'm single but I prefer to say unavailable because I feel like that's the only time guys are interested so there's that <laughs> There's a lot of changes with being single at 37 versus 27. For example, when someone would reject me when I was 27, I used to say things like, but why, why don't you like me? And at 37, when somebody rejects me, I say things like, exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're, we're, on, we're on the same page there. <laughs> the same page. Um, dating is rough. Um, it's exhausting. You know, when I tell a guy I want to sleep with him, I really mean I want to go to sleep. Like I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> I dated someone recently and he had really bad breath and I didn't know how to break it to him because I liked him. And so I put two Altoids in my mouth, hoping one would make its way into his mouth. So you get the hint. So, <laughs> yeah, it's tough. I'm tired of the assumptions too. I went to the mechanic and he told me he wouldn't pass my car for inspection because the passenger side seatbelt wasn't working. And I said, look, I'm 37 and single. I can assure you nothing is going in the passenger side seatbelt besides food. So uh, we are, we are good there. No, there's, there's an upside. I've lost some weight during the pandemic. I noticed that because my mask is a little bit baggier. So that's good. <laughs> yeah. But just again, things I just don't care about at this age with dating. Um, when a guy asked me to text a sexy photo of myself, I forget to crop my snacks out of the background. So figuring myself. <laughs> might as well know what he's getting himself into. That's it for me. Thank you guys so much. I'm sure. Thank you. Woo! Woo!